Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation in two ways. We've done a similar problem before a while ago, but this time I'm going to be introducing a second method. All right, we have x to the power x to the power 5 equals 5, or you can call this x to the power x to the fifth equals 5, and we're going to be solving for x. So let's start with the first method. My first method involves some substitution, so let's go ahead and rewrite our expression. And here, I want to call this something else, like y. Okay, so now I get x to the fifth equals y, which implies that x can be written as y to the power one fifth. Awesome, you can also write it as fifth root of y. And now we can go ahead and substitute that for x. We're gonna write y to the power one fifth, and that is to the power x to the fifth, which is y. So we're gonna replace that with y. Now, I'm going to multiply the exponents. That's going to give me y to the power y over 5 equals 5. And now, of course, um, this is not as good as I want it to be. So let's raise both sides uh, to the fifth power. And that's going to give us what we want. And that is going to be y to the power y equals 5 to the power 5. Awesome. This is really good because we can kind of make a one-to-one -one correspondence. But the question is, uh, obviously, y equals 5 is a solution. But the question is, are, uh, are there any other solutions? So we kind of have to look at the graph of f of x equals x to the power x, which looks like the following. It kind of starts at 0, but 0 to the power 0 is kind of problematic. So uh, it's going to start with a you know dot and open dot. And then it's just going to go down first, because between um, I think it's like a uh, certain value, 0 to, I think it is 1 over your something like that anyways. So it's going to decrease first and then increase and just keeps increasing. So here it's going to uh, go through 1 comma 1 for sure, uh, but not 0 comma 1. Okay, so something like this and there's going to be a minimum value. But the point is, if you set uh, the y value to 5 to the fifth power, which is like a very, very large number, I think it's 3125 something like that. So it's a very large number. Obviously, it's going to be greater than 1. Therefore, the this is not drawn to scale at all, but uh, when we draw the horizontal line at that point, which is 5 to the fifth power, uh, it's going to intersect the graph at one point, which means that we only have a single solution from here. Cool. So this equation gives us y equals 5, which is nice. But remember, y is x to the fifth power. So from here, you get x to the fifth power equals 5, which means x equals 5 to the power 1 over 5, or you can write it as the fifth root of 5. Awesome. So we get a solution, and that is unique, obviously. Let's go ahead and look at the second method. I'm also going to show you a graph at the end, um, which kind of reinforces the result that we found. It's not a proof by any means, but it's, uh, it, it's kind of like a visual. So second method um, is different and I think this was suggested by one of my viewers when I did the other video and I really like the method so I want to use it. So we have this equation and one thing that I want you to notice is we can switch sides and write 5 as x to the power x to the power 5. Now here's what I would like to do since 5 equals this uh, I want to replace the 5 here uh, with this expression. Alright, makes sense? So I, here's what it's going to look like. I'm going to replace x to the power x to the power 5, 5 with x to the power x to the power 5. So it's going to come down here, and it's going to look like this, x to the power x to the power, x to the power x to the power 5, and that is going to equal 5. And now we can do this again one more time, and we have a 5 here. So if you do that, you're going to get x to the power x to the power x to the power x to the power 5, and 5 can be replaced with x to the uh, power x to the fifth, so kind of like this, and hopefully you get the idea. If you keep doing this, right, good enough, like a very number of times, infinitely many times, you're going to get a pattern like this, x to the power, and again, I'm not defining anything in the formal sense. I know I'm not being rigorous, 
Some people don't like it, but I'm sorry. I'm not rigorous. What can I do, right? So it's x to the power, x to the power, x to the power. It's just going to keep going. And eventually, this is going to equal 5, hopefully, at some point, right? Now, this is what it means. We kind of have like an infinite tower. And uh, we can find x very easily because if you look at this expression, the exponent is the same thing as the original expression, right? So... Um, it means that the exponent is 5 here. So we can replace this with 5 because it's what it is. So we get x to the 5th power equals 5. And from here we get x equals the 5th root of 5. And again, like before, we get the same answer, but just in a different way. We use the infinite tower. Just by doing these replacements, uh, you get this following conclusion. Obviously, you can formally define this you know, as a sequence and see if it converges, under which conditions it converges, so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph and we'll finish up with that. So the graph that I'm going to show you is the graph of y equals x to the power x to the power 5. And um, its intersection uh, with the horizontal line y equals 5 occurs at point A, uh, which has the coordinates 5 to the power 1 fifth uh, and 5. As you can see, uh, this kind of verifies the result. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.